Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday. It's the day before the Super Bowl. That's right, and it is us this year. That's right, the Bengals. It is us. We are going to take it tomorrow. It's going to be great. And just to show my support and keep that mojo magic going, today we're going to do the Bengals helmet emblem. That right there on this Ohio. I think it's going to turn out really cool, don't you? Let's, let me get this started right here real quick. Let me flip that sound off. All right, there we go. That way, when you hop on, I'd love it if you'd say hi and tell me where you're watching from. I'd appreciate it. That way I know I'm on the right page and that you can actually hear me and that my comments are working. Because a lot of times, Facebook just will not show me the comments. I'll even see them and then it will go to where it says, like, uh, relevant instead of all comments. I saw that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it'll be like where it'll say relevant or instead of being all comments, it won't show them to me and I can't figure out why. But after a couple of days, it eventually shows them to me. So if I don't comment right away back to you, it might just be because I can't see it at this point. But I will get back to it. I will comment back. I appreciate every comment you guys give me. Hey, Carol, I appreciate you being here with me today, too. I see you out there. Anyway, we are going to get started real quick. I've got a birthday party to go to this afternoon. I'm not going to say much more because I don't know who's watching, but we're going to have fun today. And then tomorrow, I am going to a Super Bowl party, which I am so excited about. And then for Valentine's Day, I'm going to take the day off and enjoy, so... I'm really looking forward to this weekend. It's going to be great. I'm super excited. Okay, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to start with is the orange, and I'm going to paint the helmet base with orange. Let me just get this stuff out of the way here. Get this over here. Here, let me move that. Where's my paper towel? Right here. I hate to always seem like I'm unorganized, but guess what? I'm always doing something up here, and I think I've got it all right here in front of me, and then I get to look at it, and I don't. There's something somewhere that I didn't get, and that's just me. <laughs> oh, well. Let's get flipped down here to where we can see what we're going to do. That looks pretty far away to me, so let's... Ooh. Well, what the heck? You're seeing the other way. Now you're looking at the coat tree. Let me flip it back around. You don't want to see the coat tree. <laughs> You want to see that coat tree sitting there behind this? I need to get that out of here. Of course, there's a few things I need to get out of here, but right now, we've got things in different places. We're working on different stuff. So let's just tilt that down a little more. Here, I think that looks pretty good right there. Turn it around to where it's facing you guys. All right, so I am once again... I mean, I don't even have to tell you the colors that I'm going to use, because... I think by now we know what colors we're going to use. Some orange. I got pumpkin orange. I don't have a Bengals orange. I really wish I did. That would be so cool if I was painting with Bengals orange. And I got black. And I got white. So, that's what we got today. Yes, Carol, I see that. Yes, I, I, I am... I, I think it's going to be a fantastic weekend. I am really excited. I'm excited about the whole thing, everything that's going on. And I just feel so, I mean, I am beyond optimistic. I know it's happening. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay, so anyway, let's get paint. Get some orange out. I don't think I'm going to need very much. They poured out what more than what I need, of course. <laughs> Seem to always do that. I'm good at that. Okay, so I'm just going to use this little brush right here, and I'm just going to paint all of this right back here. And I'm not going to worry about it if it gets in this spot right here, because, you know, as you already know, that's a black bingle stripe. So if that gets covered, that's all okie dokie. <laughs> it's okie dokie. Just like right around down here where this black line is. I'm not worried about the black line being right there. We'll be going over that. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty intricate looking design. And as I stated, this is a, 
six inch piece of wood. So it is kind of small. It doesn't look really small on the computer right now, but it isn't really that big. So when we start getting to where that white is going to be outlining all of this stuff right here, I'll tell you right now, my intention is that I am going to use my pens, my flicey pens, to do that part of it. I think that's just going to help move us along so much quicker than if I sit here and try to struggle with outlining with white, because I know myself. <laughs> It'll be a struggle. I'll be too much of a perfectionist and want it to look just oh so perfect and it won't look oh so perfect and I'll just keep trying to get those white lines around it just perfect. So instead of trying to do it with my brush, even though I know I could, it just take me longer. I can do it. It just take me longer. And since we're on here and it's not just me sitting here in the room painting by myself, taking the time, you know, I, 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 I want to be, um, considerate of your time too and I want you to hang out with me and watch me paint but I don't want to spend you know make you spend your whole daggone afternoon just watching me paint a Bengals helmet although hey why not <laughs> but yeah we're going to go ahead and just use our fly C pens when we get to the little intricate areas instead of me um letting it get all up in my head and be worried about it not looking just exactly perfect. My hand's already a little bit shaky today, but you know what? I, I drank all the coffee there was, and then I went and made another pot. Now, why did I do that? I don't know, guys. I got a whole cup. And what time is it? 12.07. And it's not like I got up late. I've been up since 6 a.m. drinking coffee. So... Mm, I think to myself that caffeine doesn't affect me, but then I can see what it's doing to me as I, as I paint. I can see it. I can feel it. I know that it does truly. It truly does, but I don't care. I love my coffee. I'm going to have my coffee. I love my coffee. It may show in my work. <laughs> it may show in my work. Let me just forewarn you. My coffee addiction may may be apparent after a while. Yep, this is a person that drinks coffee. Lots of it. <laughs> I love it. I really do. And you know, I'm really not one of those people that wants a a, a mochaccino or a cappuccino. Oh, don't get me wrong now. I love those things. I do. I really do. I Those are great. Any of those things. I like it iced. I like it hot. I like it with the chocolate flavors in it. I like it with the, with the, all the milky flavors to it. I drink cream coffee anyway, and I'm, I'm not really a cream person. I actually put milk in my coffee. So, hey, Steven, thank you. I hope it turns out the way I want to, too. I, I, you never know, but I'm just going to do it and we're going to see how it goes. We're just going to see how it goes. I've been looking at it. This is a pretty small design, the way the white is around this area right in here and in this area. It, it might just, uh, we're going to call it be a challenge. It might just be a challenge for me here. But we're going to see. My pens are pretty good, and, and if I can just, you know, Keep it together here. <laughs> Hopefully everything will just work itself out fine. Just fine. Okay, let's see. This is orange right in this little area right here. Oops, got too much right there. Let me get this off of the brush. There we go. See, all I did was just took all the extra that was on my brush and put it up here out of the way for right now and then went back and got a little more of that glob that I put there out of the way. And that makes it a much thinner layer. Because I really don't want to put a great big old thick layer of orange right there in that little bitty spot. And then we're going to get up here and smooth this out while it's still wet. And like I said, I'm not too worried about it getting over in these Bengal stripes. Because they're going to be black anyway. So what's the difference? I could have just... 
painted over the whole doggone thing and 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 took the whole stress out of that too but uh, then I have to wait for it all to dry before I can fill in the stripes and all of that. No, I don't, I don't, I'm not. No, I'll just do it this way. <laughs> I'm just going to do it this way. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it all works out. Everything's fine in the end. Okay. Now, this right here is also going to be the orange. Right in this spot right here. Around this little holder on the top of the helmet here. Let me see. You gotta get this right there. And I think that that's all the orange that we're gonna be putting on this. Nope, this has got a little bit of orange right here, but like we did the last time, I need to dirty that up a little bit so that it's not the exact same color. And I'm not going to get out the black and do all of that to make a darker orange. I'm instead... <laughs> I'm instead going to take my pencil and I'm going to color in this area. And then I'm going to paint over it and it's going to make a a darker orange all by itself by mixing itself with the graphite that I put on there. So, how often do you see somebody use some graphite as a blender for an acrylic paint? There it's done. It's been done. Or at least by me it's been done. We just did it. All righty. Clean off that brush and make a little music. All right. <laughs> I'm a little silly today, guys. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm happy for the weekend. Oh, why does it keep saying, I bet it's freezing up on you guys. Is it freezing up and doing crazy stuff? Waiting for a live video signal. Am I live? Can you see me? All right, I don't know what's going on over here. We're having all kinds of all kinds of trouble. We got a new modem. I guess we got to get it hooked up. Um, obviously, we're having some some video issues. And I was hoping when I moved over to this part of the room, it would be better than it was when I over was over at the other side where the coat rack is now. <laughs> but I guess not. I I don't know if it's. Hey, David, thank you. Okay, yes, Carol, like, okay, I can see, you guys can see me, good. Okay, because I was worried, I, you know, who knows? I can see over here, it's like saying, waiting for video. And I don't know, that's on my computer, but the phone looks like it's still work. The computer's over here, and it keeps saying, you know, video signal. And then the phone's up here, and it it looks like everything's just moving. So I'm just going to go with the phone. We'll go with the phone. And just keep going here. I'm going to start painting these stripes in. Try not to get too wacky, but I can always take my pen after I get done here and edge it up a little better if I get a little messy. I'm just trying to make a nice thin layer of it because it really doesn't need to be real thick. Okay. And then this one, I can kind of just even press down a little harder there and get a full application of the black. And then kind of pull it over to these little edges. There we go. There we go. Sometimes I think maybe I should paint these wooden, um, these little wooden cutouts white first so that it would, it would, um, make the colors pop a little more. I wonder how that would work. And then I think, well, I don't know if that's even necessary because really once you get them done, they all look pretty great. Actually, I like how they look, you know. I love how they look on the door. They're cute. 
And that's exactly what these little things are. This is this is for the welcome and for the home door kits. Who day? That's right, David. Who day? That's right. We know what's happening. It's going to be a great game. Even even the, they were showing on TV this morning like the uh, they had a dolphin that picked, you know, at these zoos. There's a dolphin that picked um, the Bengals. And it's funny, though. Now, the one they showed that had a tiger, the tiger didn't pick the Bengals. And it was like, what? What? That, 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 that must not be a real Bengal tiger. That's just some off-the-wall cat. <laughs> some off-the-wall cat, man. I don't know about that. But for the most part, the ones they were showing, they were all picking the Bengals. I was watching it on the news this morning, and I thought, well, that's, that's cute. All right, so we're getting these little stripes in. I'm trying not to get too crazy because I think I'm going to do an outline of white. Maybe not, though. I may just do the whole black, back, do the background in black. Of course, here I am deciding while I'm sitting here because that's how I do things, right? Right. Should I do it this way? I don't know. Should I do it that way? I don't know. Maybe. Let's try this. <laughs> Let's try this. There we go. That fills that in right there. Nah, I don't know if I should outline that or not. That will be outlined right there. I can do it with my pen. If I need to, I can just do it with the pen. I'm going to make that decision as we go along here. All right, there we go. We got this stripe right here. And I think that's going to just about do the brush. And from here, I'm going to get my pen, I believe. Let me look here. Well, this is quite a bit of black in there. And I don't want to just use up my brush, I mean my pen, unnecessarily when I've already got all this paint sitting here anyway. So I may as well just go ahead and fill in this portion of it here. Now, i got to be careful here because i got to leave room for those white outlines because there's white outlines all over the place with this. This comes down in here. It might have to work a little bit in there, huh? And this is right here. Right up through this side. Right in here. And then this little square. Well, it ain't a square at all. That's <laughs> far from square. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Right in there. <laughs> right in there. Now, let me see. Let me look at this. How do I want to do this? I do believe I'm going to do that with the pen. Even though this, this paintbrush has a very nice tip to it. I really do like the tip of this little paintbrush. It's got a good tip. It's got a good tip. This should come around here like this, though. This needs to be a thicker line of black right here. It comes all the way down right in here. I need to get some white out before we start with the pen. 
Okay. So, I think that's all we really need. I know all of these are going to be black. But I think I'm just going to do those with the pen because I also have to do a white outline around every one of those things. So, for time and sanity. <laughs> Not insanity, but for sanity's sake. <laughs> Yours and mine. I'm going to have another drink of coffee. <laughs> All right. Now let's get a little bit of white. Oh, that lid was stuck. There we go. That ought to do fine. Take this. I'm going to do this right in here. In here. Right over here. Now I'm going to fill those in. I'm just getting some paint in each of the spots. And this right here just so that I know where I'm headed as I keep going along here. Okay. Just gonna fill this in. And right along through there. May as well just make that go across there, shouldn't I? Yep. Because we're going to have to do that anyway. Just getting a tip on the, just a bit of paint on the very tip of the brush here. Very small amount. Just going to get around this little U shape. Go across right there. May as well. Just fill it in while I've got the white paint right here. This right here is white. And right along through here. Same as white. This little spot. Now that needs to be black right there. I need to darken that in right there. Yeah. I do. Yes, I do. Okay, right here, we have another little white highlight that goes right here on the inside of the helmet. Now I'm going to turn it just slightly. And let me see. Yeah, I'm still in the right spot. And I'm going to take this and fill in this area right in here. All white right here. Oop. Now I have to use the black pen to go over that little black spot right there. Because I just kind of messed that up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Sometimes I do. Mm. You know. All of this has to be outlined in white, honestly. All of that does. All of that does. All this stuff. I make you crazy. Doesn't hurt that, you know. I've already ridden that train now. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Mal. Oh, you saw it on the news? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you saw that. Yeah, I didn't get mentioned at all, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It wasn't about me in any way, shape, or form, but it was cool. It was really cool. I was like, oh, my goodness. There it is. And at the one when they stopped and they were showing the AFC mug, if you looked in the corner right above it, you could see my initials right there written 
on that one painting. And it was like, oh, look, there's my initials painting. Initials on my painting. That was pretty cool. I was pretty excited about that. And also, I thought it was really cool for them, too. The story itself is a very cute story. I mean, it's really, it's a very sweet story, how they ended up meeting each other. And heck, let's hope it brings the Bengals some luck, knowing there's a little love story out there that goes along with their winnings. Okay, I'm just going over that again a couple of times, trying to darken that up just a little bit. This right in here is going to be white. And that's like a little C shape right there. And then there's another little shape. And then another little shape that goes around that. There we go. May not look exact, but it, it, it'll do. <laughs> it's going to do. Take it and do another little C shape on this one. Another little moon type shape and a bigger moon. Okay. All of these have to be black. So I need to darken that up first. I think I'm going to use the pen. I'm still thinking I'm going to use the pen on this, guys. But I'm trying to think to myself if I'm going to make a... I'm going to have to outline it in white. I see that. I know that. Maybe we just do that right now. And then that'll make it easier to go ahead and put the black around the outside because it doesn't matter how good of a job I do outlining it here, it's all still going to have to be outlined on there. So we may as well get this white down so that it can dry around the outside. And that way I'll be able to use the pen to make the full outline around it. So yeah. Let's go ahead. I know that doesn't look too smooth or too good for the moment, but I'm not too worried about it yet. I'm just trying to get it around the outside. And then I'm going to edge that up with the black. Nope, too much. I'm not too worried about that, honestly. I mean, I mean, really, it's going to have to all be outlined anyway. And then this will be black out here, so. I'm not going to get too wacky about it. All of this is white in here, too. And I'm still trying to decide, should I or shouldn't I use the pen? I think I will. I think I will. I think I will use the white pen. I say as I continue to paint with white paint, I'm just going to put black in the middle of there. So that way it's easier. Make that just a little more white right there. Make it pop a little better. Whoop, 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 whoop. Who have we got coming to the door? It must be Amazon Man. He has been all over the place. Uh, it's Steve coming in. <laughs> of course, Coco's in the way, in the doorway. Excited. There we go. I'm going to turn it back this way and go around the bottom of it. I know that looks pretty crappy around the outside. Don't worry. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. 
Hey, Jeannie. I appreciate you guys joining me today. That's great. I'm so glad to see you all out there. Trying to keep myself moving along here. And that's why I think I probably should be using the pens instead of trying to do it with the, uh, with the paint. Because the paint, I move slower. Just a, just a wee bit slower anyway. And I'm making big outlines, but that's okay because I'm going to go around the whole thing with black. So I can easily bring it up as far as I need to. To get as close as possible to around the out, outside of the edge, the outline of it. I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. This right here is white. A little hook like. Just a little hook like thing. Okay, we're just going to put that there and I'm not even going to worry about it because all that's going to be black coming around there anyway. Same with this. I just don't want that rough looking edge. Like right there. But that's okay. I'm not even going to worry about that because once it's black, you're not going to see that in the least. Okay. I'm going to stop with that. Get my pen. Give it a shake. Let's get this black pen and give it a shake. Now, once again, I know this stuff is all backwards to you guys, but the pens that I use are Acrylic Painter by Flysea. F-L-Y-S-E-A. They come in a six-pack, three white, three black, and it's a 0.7 millimeter pen. Those are what I use. When you first get them, you always want to press the, hold it up directly like this, press this down, hold it down for a few seconds, and then turn it up and press it a few times until you can get the ink flowing through it. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling this in right here, and then we'll go around it with the white. And I love how these paint. Like I said, they don't dry instantaneously, but they do dry very quickly, very quickly. I'm looking at these things here over here. I've got me a reference photo. I always suggest that when you're doing things like this, that you have yourself a reference photo to look at. Because if you're just yakking and talking and drawing and not paying attention, you very well could just end up coloring something that you hadn't intended. And then you got to go back and fix it. And these are going to be white edged. So I'm just trying to put a little base of black in there, but I still want to be able to see it. Same with right in here. There's going to be a white line about like that I'm just trying to leave myself space to where I can see where those white lines will be this is just a little edge in here and then we've got this one here. See how it doesn't really connect to it. You're leaving that space around it for the white. Okay. Turn it back this way. I'm going to go ahead and take the pen while I'm doing this and go ahead and put a nice edge to that. See, that's what I mean when I say you can always just go back and, and dress it up and make it look better. Just go over it with your pen, and it makes a big difference. Just like here, we could just 
Go around it. Go around it. Go around that. Use that. There we go. We'll go around this guy here. On the helmet. We got this. Line that goes right along the bottom here. We need to darken it up a little bit so it stands out. There we go. And of course, this has to be given a sharper outline around it right in here. Now, when you're doing things like this, you don't want to look at where your pen is. You want to look at where your pen is going. If you focus too much on where your pen is, or at least for me, I always end up making some kind of mistake. So I don't want to focus right on where that pen is. I want to focus on where that pen needs to be going. was a little bump right there in the paint and that made it kind of whoopy. That's okay. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up through here. Paint's thick underneath it. Let me get that off of there. There, that's better. That fixed that. Made that a bit better right there. Okay, now we need to bring this right here. There. Sharpen that just a bit. Yeah, let me see. Where are we going? Trim that a little. There we go. Let's see, we still need to go around the outside here. Make that line thicker, because that definitely needs to stand out a little better. So for here, I'm just going to go from in between the black to the black. That makes it easier. go. Press that a couple of times to keep the paint flowing. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Maybe right there. I can see little spots where the black's not quite as black as I'd like it to be. So I'm just going to add a little touch. A little touch here, a little touch there. All right. So where are you guys watching the Super Bowl at? You going anywhere? Going to a party? Going to do anything fun? Going to stay home? Where are you going to be watching the Super Bowl this year? Are you going to watch the Super Bowl this year? And if you are watching the Super Bowl, are you watching just be watching? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm way out of the picture. Are you going to be watching... Just to be watching those commercials? I know I'll be watching some of those. I find those very entertaining, of course. You have to admit it. You have to admit it. The commercials are always great. But yeah, I'm so excited about this year. You know, the Bengals. Yeah, man. Gives it a whole different feel. It's funny here in town. It's like... It's like a second Christmas going on or something. Everybody's so happy. Everybody's running around all dressed up in their Bengals gear. 
Everybody at work's allowed to wear Bengals gear. Everybody running around downtown's wearing it. They're having all kinds of big parties and stuff going on. It's just wild. It is like a second Christmas. Everybody's in a great mood. Yeah, we can just do this every year. <laughs> Not likely. But wouldn't that be something? You look and see, am I still in the right spot? Yes, okay. I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing here. Next thing you know, you guys won't even have it in view. I'll just be coloring somewhere. That's another thing I like about these pens. It's painting, but it's just like you're sitting here coloring. It's not like you're all stressed about the brush and what the brush is doing. You're just filling it in, just coloring like you do with a pen or a pencil. I'm one of those people that likes to color. So that helps too. Who they think gonna beat them Bengals? That's right. We're gonna win. That's right, Steve. I see that. Thank you. Okay. This is going up right through here. I'm going to have to get the white and do a little bit of outlining in a second. And then we just got to do the background and boom. Let me see here. Right there. Right here. This one up here, don't want to forget that one. Okay, we back up here and get that. Now you all can see exactly where I'm going with it. I'm just talking to myself. There we go. Got around that little bend there. nib sticks out right there and this goes around it right here comes up and around this That doesn't look even right there. I've got this in the wrong spot, I do believe. Here, it's got to be here for it to connect. Right there. Right there, anyway. And then this guy right here needs to be filled in. Let me see what we got going on right there. Supposed to be a... Uh... Goes that way. Yeah, we'll fix that in a second here. Okay. And then... This is... That little white line that goes down here. That right there. Down around the bottom of there. And there. So 
put this in right here. Spot right there. Well, this is white back here. So let me put another little dark line right in there. Is that right looking? I'm still looking at my reference photo over here, trying to see if I got this right. I'm thinking that looks kind of right. I'm thinking that looks all right anyway. If it's not exact, it's not exact, huh? It's close enough. Okay, let's get the white pen. Scoot it back over a little bit. Okay, now... There's going to be a white line right here. Comes up. That gets an outline. There's a white line here. There we go. I have to get the black pen again for a second here. But we'll see if this will work. If I can do this. Okay, let's see. This goes right in between there. Kind of comes up over the top of that. Back down through here a little bit. And let's see, there's a line here. Here. goes around the top just a wee bit. Okay, so that's not exactly exact, but that's all right. It's good enough. It's good enough. I'm not going to stress up on this. Let's just keep going. We're going to outline here. Around like that. Not too much. I'm going to get out of the line here. There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to look at this little piece right here. Let me see, a white line that goes here, comes across, comes down this way, all the way down and around the bottom. Okay, so that goes just like that all the way down and around it. And this comes down here and catches on, and this one comes around the back of it and catches on. So there we've got those now. And this is around. This one goes all the way around. Has a claws going through the metal of it. This one's got a line going, so it's going all the way around like that. Okay, that's close enough. I'm not going to worry about that. It's good enough. Let me see here. Okay, so this one has to come across the front. Okay, 
this. All the way down to this spot. And then this kind of makes a little hump right there. And it goes all the way down the front. Yep, all the way down the front. And it comes down here and makes another little hump type look. I can see the black through it. So I'm just going to kind of go over a couple of little spots real quick here. I'm not too worried about that, though. Tell you the truth. To tell you the truth, this comes like this right here. Yep, it's got a line that goes there, and it goes just like that. So we'll go ahead and outline this on the inside here. Got a pretty good outline down there. And I'm going to have to fill that in with black back in there. And let's come right up and across here. Fill in this little square. Or square. This isn't a square, Janet. <laughs> I know that. I know that's not a square. I don't know why I keep saying that. Just because I keep doing it. This goes across right here. Alright. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. This has to come right here. front of that scooch over again and this is gonna go right here in the front of this and we've got this outline right there Let me see, this it has to be a line right here. It comes all the way down in front of that. Let me look at this one. This one comes in front of this. Front of here. Okay. Now let me look at this one. Okay, this is going this way in front of that one. All right. Which means this has this at the top of it right there. Let me get a little more white flow. Now you can see I'm not doing too very good of straight lines on this. But I'll tell you guys what. It looks good. It looks good enough. I think it looks perfectly fine. That's a little rough. But I ain't going to worry about it. I'd still rather have my coffee. <laughs> I'd still rather have my coffee. <laughs> well, I'm honest about it. I know I drink too much of that stuff, but that's okay. I love it. That really shouldn't have been there, but that's okay. We're going to get the black again. And the black goes right up in here. 
There's just a very small little white spot there. Okay. Right there, smooth that out a little bit. I think there's supposed to be white right here, isn't there? Yes, there is. So I just put the black there, but now I'm going to have to go over it again. Make it white. That's supposed to be white right there. All right, that's good. There's a little spot of black missing right there. And then I'm just going to fill this in right here instead of trying to paint that. Then I'm going to paint the black background and we will be done for today. It's never really done. It's never really over. Come back and do something else another day. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to stress too much about that. <clears throat> I could probably go over that white again with the pen another time, but I don't think I need to. I think I'm just going to let it be. Maybe right there, because I can see that that's, once I get the black on, that's going to look kind of dark right there. I say I'm not going, and then I turn around and do it, don't I? Every time. <laughs> Scoot you over. You know what I did do this time, though, guys? Don't know if you've noticed it or not. We haven't had a notification interruption. Believe it or not, I remembered. Turn off those notifications today. I thought about it while I was sitting up here getting out my supplies and thought, mm-hmm, I didn't put my note up. I need to put a note up that reminds me. But I remembered. And that's the whole point. I did remember. Might have taken a minute or whatever, but I remembered. Ooh, what did it just get on me? Okay. I think that looks good. Where's my little wiggly brush? We're just going to go ahead and get this background going with the black then using my flat brush. Whoop. Got a piece of plastic on it and the hair. Let me get that off of it. A little piece of tape stuck on it. Okay, now we're just going to take it and just sort of wiggle it up to it to get a nice, well, maybe not straight, but straighter, <laughs> straighter line. Take this and work it up in here. Run it right along through there. Up a little bit. And then just 
just kind of pull out some of this paint that I can see here. There we go. Now it's really starting to take a little bit of shape to it. here and just curve this down just a smidgen right here at the top fill this in Get it right around through here. Get that little little spot up here in the in the tippity top of Ohio. I need to look that up and see exactly where is that in Ohio. Is that is that I know it's eerie. We've got Toledo and and Cleveland and Mentor and all of that up in there. But I need to look and see exactly what is this little one right here. Which what what is the name of that little burb? Anybody know? If you do, put it up there. <laughs> Looks really awesome. Is it possible? One of those. Helmets to paint. Is it possible? Is it possible to get one of these to paint? Of the helmet? Is I'm sorry, Carol. I don't understand that. Ask me again. Ask me again, and then maybe I can answer that question for you. I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me think missing a word or maybe I'm just too full of coffee I don't know <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing wanting to get one of these maybe I'm gonna go real easy right around this right here at the bottom to try to there we go that worked out Keep that as a nice, fine little line there. A plaque of the helmet to paint. Uh, do you, you, you want an Ohio plaque? An Ohio plaque one? Is that, if that's what you're asking? Here, I'll send you, you know what? Let me just send you a message after we get done. And I can figure out what it is that we're, what the, I, I'll figure it out, what we're doing. Because I, I know you're in North Carolina. Now, I don't have a North Carolina here. I've got Ohio's here. I can get North Carolina's, though. I can get any state, actually. And I can get different kind of football helmets, too. I can get wood football helmet cutouts, if that's... But, you know, I've got Ohio's here. I'll just send you... I'll send you a message after I get done. I'll just send you a message, my friend. We're just about to get this here helmet done. And I get to get that a little better curve right there. Closer. There we go. Just got to bring it around the outside here. Now 
Okay, let me turn it this way. Just kind of pull this. I just sort of pull it along here. And get it down this side. Once I get it down the side, then I'm going to go back and straighten that out. Too carried away. I think that go right around that little edge. There we go. Just like that. We are just about done, guys. And I think I'm just going to use my white pen to put my signature on it. Let me just straighten out this edging right through here because this looks thicker than around this side over there. So I'm just going to make this a little... bit thinner. All right. There we've got it. And what do we say? We say who day? Who day, guys? Who day? I truly enjoyed doing this with you today. I hope you had a good time. I would love for you to leave me some comments and stuff. Let me scoot this back out. There we go. I appreciate everybody that's been with me. I appreciate the comments that you've left for me. Um, Carol, I'll send you a message in just a few minutes. Once again, here it is, the Bengals helmet. I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow night as you watch the Bengals take it. All right, guys. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.